Now we'll need chain shots. Here's another fellow comes down. Hello? You heard something, but you saw nothing. Dun dun dun. Super sneaky Mike. Any other cool loot? No. Time to exit then. Oh, actually, what's that? Money? I'll take money. Oops. No, we don't want that. You could set up traps to take them out, but I didn't see any point because I knew I could take them out in that particular fashion. So there wasn't really any uh, point to wasting traps on those fellas. But now we've eliminated everybody around here, so... Let us bypass this keypad. One, two... Three... Four and five. Sweetness. Hack computer. Now, Mikey, don't get too focused, because... Uh-oh. Hello? Hi. How you doing? Lazo has been terminated. Move out. So we're just gonna, you know, go out merry ways. What the hell's going on here? Ah. Didn't think so. Can't we, you know, talk about this? I guess not. Oh, come on, run, Mikey. Okay. That's not very nice. Okay, um, let's use this. Gotcha. Hello. What, nothing to say? I want to know what you're doing here. Who sent you? Uh, uh, uh. Another move and I'll have to fire. There we go. Now that locket Mike, is very Mike, interesting. Are you still there? I'm here. Someone was jamming the frequency. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. it's cool. I dealt with I it. I think so. So we acquired a nice perk there called I don't hit girls, which will be useful for the next encounter. So we completed all our objectives, retrieved 18,700 bucks. And um, we were tipped off by an informant, we gained access to the account information. Sis and G22 are still alive. Sis we have heard of before. And she gave us a locket this time, so this ought to be interesting. What's up with the connection? Looks like something's interfering with the transmission. Or Hello. You again. Albatross. It's been a while since Type A. I ran into a little friend of yours tonight, hanging out with your G22 buddies. She's quite the little firecracker, although she doesn't talk much. Well, except with those pistols of hers. Bang, that bang. My bodyguard, sis. And I know you spared her life. That's why I'm calling. I didn't want to fight her. I was only there for Lazo. But she didn't give me much choice. No, not it really. Was my orders, Mike. But I didn't realize you would be there. Else, I would have instructed sis to behave differently. 
So should I ask what G22 is doing in Moscow? You guys sure seem to get around. You it's really do. Rather long answer, Mike. One I'd like to discuss more, if you'd be up for it. Is your bodyguard invited? If so, I'll need body armor. <laughs> I'm afraid it's required she be present. We're not supposed to be apart. You broke the rules. Operates in the field. But like you, I tend to bend the rules for the sake of the greater good. Tsk, tsk. I'll leave the choice up to you, but I can't wait long. If you want to discuss your future, then meet me at the following coordinates. It isn't far. And come alone. Sure. Why not? Alright. But I better not be walking into an ambush. And tell Sis to keep her distance. I will do so. I will not wait long, Mike. So if you want to speak to me, you'll have to do it soon. Basically, that just means make it the next mission. Otherwise, don't even bother. So... I don't think we got any new emails. We might have. Let's have a look. Nope, no new emails. But there should be some info about Sis and Albatross ready for purchase. Yep. So we'll be spending most of the money that we just obtained on the uh, the mission. But that's okay. We'll contact Albatross and do the other contact Albatross. That should get us some information on... Um, Albatross and um, Sis, which will come in handy later. We'll buy those now so that I remember and equip them, even though we won't be using them in this next mission. I just know I'll forget <laughs> if I don't, and then uh, we'll have a slight problem. Okay, they got equipped automatically. Sweetness. So let's have a look at the intel we picked up. Albatross. There he is. So we've got all of his dossier. He likes us, which is nice. Uh, Okie dokie. So there we go. He breaks the rules every once in a while. Albatross and G22 focus on monitoring events and establishing intelligence infrastructures rather than direct intervention. Sounds like someone we know. At times, G22 has supplied intelligence to both sides of a known conflict within the span of a few months. It's interesting. As much as G22 is obsessed with accumulating info, they are skilled at denying adversaries any information or intelligence on their own organization, making their motivations difficult to ascertain. So they're very pragmatic, it seems, though they reinforce the status quo as much as possible. At least that's what I can tell from that reading. Of course, you might discover information later that changes that. But the other interesting person is Sis. So I don't think we read about her last time. I think I just pointed out that she was a character and that we picked up some information about her. But she the only info we really have is that from Interpol records that were isolated when a computer virus attacked their servers in 2006 and erased evidence about G22. Gives us a little bit of information about how she fights. So her two revolvers, you might have noticed that um, when we were fighting her, she took a while to reload which was good because it gave a uh, chain shot time to <laughs> to uh, re-up so I was able to blast her with the whole five shots but it's recommended that agents take advantage of this reload time to subdue her also you pretty much cannot take her in hand-to-hand -hand combat because she's extremely fast so it's a good thing we're not a uh, character spec for martial arts over the top you can encounter bits of the game where if you don't create a somewhat balanced character, you will have a slight problem. You'll notice that when we get to the final boss fight of this sector. Actually, I don't know if it is the final boss fight. It can be, depending on what choices you make. But let's contact Albatross. So we acquired a dossier on him and a dossier on Sis. So let us go. Now we will be following a very specific conversation chain in this uh, encounter as well, just so I can show you some something cool about the game. Ho hum. Hello, you again. Let's be chill. Be cool. Beautiful night. Let's not ruin it by shooting each other. <laughs> it's all right, sis. Hello, Mike. Hello. No trouble finding the place, I hope. You wanted to meet face to face. Why? I wanted to talk about you and the organization I represent. 
You spared Sis's life. For that, you have my thanks. Let's bring up the I locket. I have something of hers. Here. Did she give that to you? I see. The locket is a childhood memento. Perhaps those days are gone. Regardless, thank you for sparing her life. The gratitude comes from both of us, it seems. Indeed. According to what I've been able to dig up on you two, she's your bodyguard. If anyone should be saving someone's life, it's her. That is correct. Intel suggests she's an orphan. That you're not related. I see you've accessed Interpol records, Agent Thornton. I thought I'd wipe those clean. I'm better. I'm thorough. But if she's your bodyguard, why did you send her to Lazo's yacht? You broke Isn't the she rules. Supposed to be protecting you? She could have been killed, you know. That's no way to treat someone you care about. Oof. And no Oof. Way to treat a child. That's Sister getting a little bit annoyed. For me, Agent Thornton. The world is cruel in many respects. And every day we survive, we've gambled against death and won. And the locket she gave you. Perhaps Sis is not a child anymore. To throw away a childhood memento so carelessly. That locket. But did she? It's not a childhood memento. Excuse me? The locket. It depicts St. George and the dragon. According to the legend, townsfolk fed their children to the dragon out of fear to prevent its wrath. Eventually, the king agreed to feed his own daughter to the beast. I'm not sure I like the implication, Agent Thor. You don't have I to like it, Mr. Albatross. I'm guessing only she knows how St. George factors in. But I'm wondering who G-22 is in the story, and who you are. I'm sure Sis could clear it up, if she wanted to tell us, that is. She can't. Can't, or won't. She's a mute. Let's walk. Sis will make sure we're not interrupted. Alright. So, so yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> I know to all outward appearances you're a rogue agent. I also know about Alpha Protocol. And in your case, it's being used for its intended purpose. Yes, well. It wasn't my choice, really. One of my associates made the decision for me. I disagree. You had other options, I'm sure. Yeah, that was the guns Didn't blazing the Alpha one. Protocol change your mission? No. Then you should be proud of your accomplishment. What accomplishment? It's not often that one gets to turn the tools of their own government against them, and for the right reasons. And Alpha Protocol? It is a powerful tool. Indeed it is. Between Halbeck and you, I'm beginning to feel like everyone knows about Alpha Protocol. It may seem that way. I'd argue you're simply traveling in a smaller circle here, on the fringe of international politics. I don't know what you want, Albatross. G-22's agenda? Doesn't seem like you have one. They don't really, no. do they? We have aspirations, as does any government. You're a government? We believe that agendas are accomplished by careful study and observation. If the status quo is disrupted, it makes predicting triggers and events more difficult. Alan, is that you? You sound like one of the analysts of Alpha Protocol <laughs> I know. Alpha Protocol has always had someone in that role. It helps them function as intended, no matter what iteration of the program. Iteration of the program, you say? Thing. A government-sponsored program whose purpose is to prevent being policed by its own government. Now what kind of foundation is that for a country? I guess you have to trust your country and act in its best interests. Do you trust your country? I do. I believe in the mission. I propose we become allies. What, I become a member of G-22? No. I propose we cooperate. We can You'll do that. Find that as extensive as Alpha Protocol's leftover safe houses and gadgets are, well, G-22 has access to much more. And the price? Let us say, I owe you. Yes, you do. You've already paid me. And the only currency I value. What do you say? Done deal. Alright. I need all the friends I can get. And for some reason, I trust you. Because it's expedient to the plot, you Mikey. You regret it, Mike. Time's up. We're out of time, I'm Time's afraid. Up. Thank you for listening to me, Mike. I know you have a great deal of work ahead of you. Always do. Trust. I need to know something. Yes. What? This business with Halbeck. I can still prevent it, right? There's a way to stop them. Maybe. This isn't going to end well, is it? Oh, Mikey. Mike. It never does. It never does. Haha, <laughs> see? That man knows what's going on. He knows. So that conversation was a bit interesting. 
and one of the reasons it's interesting is because that is the one and the only time that you can increase your reputation with cis. So I suspect that the story behind G22 and the whole lockets and George and the dragon thingy etc have a lot to do with um, the content that was cut from the game and I think that again that that was terribly bad of them to rush the game out so that some things weren't really built upon. But it's interesting that Sis seems to agree with Mike on a lot of the interpretations, though she doesn't actually say anything because obviously she's a mute, she can't. But it's interesting how Albatross reacts to it as if Mike is insulting him personally. Which may be just, you know, the way he feels about G22 and how he's doing the right thing. Or it might be because he and Sis have a closer relationship than um, Thornton realizes. Because Albatross is extremely protective of the child, so you never know, maybe they are related. But it was also interesting that he mentioned um, that there have been several iterations of Alpha Protocol. So maybe he was originally Parker. You know, maybe he was originally Parker, or he served under Parker. It's an interesting thought. So let us continue. We did get a bit of information also about Sis. So we might as well have a look at that. We got a secret fact as well. So, Sis, Sis, Sis. Ah, oh, she's down the bottom. No, go, go down. Damn it. Alrighty, there we go. So we've got a full dossier on her now. That was a bit about her fighting. There we go. Her locket is more than just a childhood memento. It's her only way of expressing her current place in the world and her fear of what it holds in store for her. The fact that she relinquished the locket shows considerable trust. Uh, yeah, so the secret fact is obviously that she carried a locket with St. George on it and the significance of the locket is a mystery and will remain a mystery because the game doesn't explain it the bastards <laughs> so we've got a reputation of three with her she likes us and I think that we didn't really harm our relationship with Albatross all that much where is he? Albatross there we go so we've still got a four so that's not too bad at all but also irrelevant Oh, right, I forgot to show you what I don't hit girls gets you. Because I am a silly man. Right, I don't hit girls. There we go. You get 5% from all transactions with G22. I'm assuming that there's meant to be a minus in there. So everything is cheaper, which is nice, because obviously we have new store items courtesy of Albatross. Swellness. So should you need equipment... I will share access to our black market channels. Nice ball as well. So what did he unlock for us? Oh, hoo -hoo. better guns. I like it. Did he get us assault rifles? No, he did not. But he did get us the final version of the pistol that we currently have. So we will buy that for 100k, leaving us with 70 altogether. Don't need any of that stuff. Did he get a better rifle? No, that might unlock later. I improve scope? No, we don't need it. We can probably sell some of the stuff that we picked up as well. We won't need to upgrade armor just yet. But we will get some info. So before we go and intercept Sirkov, we're going to do the weapon shipments. So we'll need that intel on Dimitri Dragon. It's probably said differently. Uh, this. Hang on. A disgruntled guard is willing to divulge the whereabouts of hidden caches if the price is right. Four grand. I'll, I'll take that. A sniper rifle, which we may or may not use, and some dossier info on the VCI. Works for me. Cool, cool. And we got the perk Psychological Warfare, plus two AP. Nice. So what is Psychological Warfare? Let us have a look. Uh, psychological Warfare, there we go. Leaving no fact unearthed, you have completed your 15th dossier. 
Very nice. We could spend the AP now, but there's nothing to spend it on. We haven't got any points left over from our last level up, so we won't bother. But we will go swap out our pistol, etc. So we can sell the old stuff. So, we don't want the Sidewinder, we want the Seraphim. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Like it. And we won't want that Featherweight uh, clip for the rifle either, so we'll sell that stuff. So, buy sell. We'll sell you for 10 grand. Very nice, we picked up some... no, we didn't. Okay. Sell the... yeah, we're never going to use the shotgun, we'll sell it. Sell that, sell that, sell those. You guys have probably been yelling at me for, like, ever to sell that shit, because I was never going to use it. Uh, and we'll sell the assault rifle clip. Keep the ammo types. Nice, nice. Don't need to sell anything there. We're never going to use these remote mines. There is literally no use for them for me. So, sell, sell, sell. We'll keep that stuff. Nothing else there. Okay, so we've got 72k. That's not bad. So let us go to Leningradsky Station. Actually, before we do that, I'll just take a quick break, get a cup of coffee, and then we'll go. So I will see you after the jump. <laughs> 